In this video, you're going to learn new tools for async collaboration, from messaging apps to ideation tools. Let's start out at a high level here, where I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to some tools and techniques that you can hopefully use to take the place of some, some of those face-to-face -face interactions that you have, make them a little bit more asynchronous. These tools and techniques are actually things that we do here at Atlassian, so I hope you get some inspiration from those. All right, let's talk instant messaging apps. Now I know what you're thinking. Cool, I'll have fewer meetings, but more email. Doesn't that create a new problem? I hear you, I hear you. And we all know that email isn't the most effective way to get work done. And we at Atlassian, we recognize that. For us, we actually use instant messaging tools like Slack to help us kind of instigate that back and forth communication in an asynchronous way. For me, I remember when I first started with Atlassian, one of the first things they did was teach us how to use Slack in an asynchronous way. And I was like, oh, I've used instant messaging apps before, but how is this different? Well, the thing is they said, when you go and you message someone, instead of saying, hey, you say, hey, and your payload, what do you need? Because the idea is that that person may not respond to you for a day and that's okay. And instead of having that back and forth of small talk over the course of four days, give that information that right up front what you need so that way that person can get back to you right away. Some of us at Atlassian are actually using messaging apps like Slack to actually help replace daily meetings. We have daily updates and instead of getting all on a phone call to talk about what's going on, instead we actually all go into Slack and we put our update in terms of what's going on and any blockers we have right there for everyone to see no longer requires us to all be on the phone at the same time, but everyone can still have visibility in terms of what's going on. Another tip I have around messaging tools is actually consider turning off notifications and, and hear me out on this one. I imagine every time you see that notification pop up with a new message, you immediately go to that. You just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Your goal is to have that focus heads down time. So turn off your notifications and instead put some dedicated time on your schedule for when you're gonna check those messages and respond. That way, again, it is based off of your schedule and you can kind of make sure you can control the world around you so you can get stuff done. Let's talk video messaging tools. Video tools like Loom or Zoom are actually great for async collaboration and can actually help reduce meetings by 29%. These sorts of tools allow us to record some short videos around some specific context and then seek feedback from our colleagues on them. Maybe you want to walk somebody through a document you just put together, or there's something else that you need to get feedback on. Simply go record that five minute video and then send it out to the group and say, hey, could you send me your feedback in 24 hours? That allows people to work on their time, but also communicate a ton of great context through the video. We found too that short form videos are the best. You know, I'm thinking five to 10 minutes. No one wants to go and watch a one to two hour Zoom recording. I mean, honestly, if you look, if you do that, you look back at it and you realize, you know, you probably only needed about five or 10 minutes of that content to actually do your job. So for us, let's get rid of the noise and focus in on just again, that small sliver of information that we need people to have in order to move forward. The other cool thing is that tools like Slack and MS Teams, they all have their own version of a video recording functionality. So take advantage of it. It's really easy. I mean, personally, I'm not a big reader. I love to watch the videos and hear what someone's talking about. It gives me extra context. Let's talk status meeting tools. The dreaded status meeting that no one likes to go to. Well, here at Atlassian, we use a tool called Atlas that gives us the ability to essentially communicate and collaborate around project status without ever having to come together in person. Atlas is essentially a teamwork directory that allows teams to share information and updates on the projects and goals that they're working towards, as well as connect with other teams and be able to show who's all working on what. Without having to meet in person, teams go into Atlas and update their projects and goals with their latest updates. And then for stakeholders like myself, every Monday morning, when I roll in, all of a sudden I've got an email or an, a Slack message from Atlas sharing with me those updates so I know what's going on. That's awesome. Talk about a true information radiator. Let's talk work management tools. Tools like Jira Work Management Trello are our tools of choice for helping us track our deliverables and the things we're doing day to day. These tools actually allow us to trace our work back to larger initiatives and be able to see what everyone's working on in relation to what we're working on. And when we need to, it allows us to be notified when changes happen to things that we care about. 
These tools allow teams and individuals to track their work and their deliverables day to day. They can use it as a way to both trace what they're working towards, as well as to communicate with others using things like at mentions and comments within the tools. And you wanna know what's neat? Maybe you're a stakeholder on a work item and you're not actually working on it, but you care where it's at, or maybe you have a dependency on it. You can actually go follow that work item and be able to see how it gets updated over time. Once it hits that state that you're looking for, boom, you can now immediately start whatever activities you have without having to wait to be notified by that individual. It's great. All right, let's talk team workspace tools. Tools like Confluence provide your remote friendly teams a home a place where they can store information, collaborate on content, and simply radiate information out to the world. At Atlassian, of course, we use Confluence. It's our source of truth. We have everything in there from policies and procedures to notes to project kickoffs. Everything you can need is in Confluence, and that's where we know we can find stuff. What I love about Confluence is it allows you to have in both either a sync or an async world, the ability to collaborate on content. Maybe you're in a meeting and you wanna go through a document together. People can be going and adding comments and at mentions during that session, or you can do that in a distributed way where throughout the next two days, people do that same thing. Confluence allows you to kind of play in both those worlds. Confluence also helps you work across time zones. Maybe you got someone in Sydney and you got someone else in Detroit. Now, instead of trying to get a meeting time that works best for both of those, you can give them both a Confluence page and allow them to add comments, create discussions, and be able to have that conversation in an async way. Finally, we've got ideation tools. Whiteboarding tools like Miro and Mural are great async collaboration tools that we can bring into the ideation process. This could mean brainstorming, project planning, or even decision-making. Each of these represents an opportunity for us to collaborate with multiple people in a space to come up with a decision or a next step on something. The neat thing about these tools is they allow multiple people to join all together at once or on their own from wherever they're at in the world to be able to go and add thoughts and ideas to the different decisions or ideas that they're playing with. And in the end, all stay aligned. What's really neat is coming soon, Confluence is going to have its own whiteboarding feature built right in. Confluence Whiteboards is going to give us that ability to have that rapid kind of fluid brainstorming in an open space and then immediately translate that information into actual deliverables in our work management tool.